First leg of three road shows aimed at boosting small businesses in the province. Other road shows will be held in the Khertsibande district and in Tlanzeni district. This is part of Ndabeni Abraham's countrywide road show themed unlocking opportunities for SMMEs and cooperatives for economic growth and job creation. SBC News reporter Dumelo Machoho is covering the story for us in Mbombela. Very good morning uh, to you, Dumelo. Uh, what is the aim of these meetings and who is attending? Well, indeed, the minister is here and also the deputy minister is also here to actually speak to these small businesses here in Mbombela. We've seen about uh, at least 300 of them actually showing up to this event, actually, just to come and listen to the minister about what is the minister has to say about this event, because they are saying that this is unlocking, you know, business opportunities for young SMMEs in the country, cooperation in the country, to ensure that, you know, that there's job creation and also that they boost these small businesses to ensure that they also grow in this country, but let's speak to Ms. Della, uh, Ndabeni Abrams, the minister, just to talk to us about the purpose of this visit. Minister, just talk to us about the purpose of the visit, and also we know you started in Khersibande uh, uh, already in Ermelo and also Middleburg. Just talk to us about also what are you guys hearing from these small uh, businesses? What are they telling you? Well, as we transverse, we started in Middleburg, as you correctly put it. One of the consistent, actually some of the consistent things that are raised by the small businesses is the issue of the stringent processes to towards them accessing funding. The second one is that even those that have managed to fund themselves, but there's a challenge in terms of access to markets. Again, it talks to the red tapes that we have in terms of us not being able to exempt certain processes for the small businesses, including set aside on certain products that should be designated for small businesses. One other critical issue that they mention is the issue of the lack of coordination from the funding uh, entities, whether by government or the private sector. They complain that you come to this agency, they have different criteria, you go to the other, and therefore that causes confusion, and also at the same time it leads to the same people being funded. And they calling for massive participation of SMMEs in our economy so that they can help us grow the economy whilst we also create the 9 million jobs. At the center of it is access to infrastructure by the small businesses. But of course as the department, as we engage with them, we are also canvassing support and listening to inputs towards the master plan that we are developing on, small, on national integrated strategy for the small businesses. And the master plan has to come with the implementation plan and this is why what we are here for, to say small businesses talk to us. We're not entrepreneurs in the department. We're responsive for policy. But if we hear from you, how effective are the interventions that we are providing? Therefore, we're able to say, are they working or not? What is that we need to do in order to change? And as a coordinating department, we go back to government, we go to the private sector, because this is the entire ecosystem that we are working with. So we're here and they've outlined the things that they spoke about and we have our agencies to respond. I'm sure you do see behind us that in the program it is listed that today we will close these roadshows with a partnership dialogue. That partnership dialogue is a combination of government agencies and private sector that comes and outlines opportunities that they have for small businesses in the particular provinces we are in and therefore outline the criteria and therefore we see how best we can come on board as the department and mobilize other stakeholders in ensuring that we unlock those opportunities whilst we help small businesses resolve the challenges that they are faced with. Minister, also talk to us about the issue of, you know, these small businesses. You know, they have to go to different places to get services. They can't just get to one place and then it's all centered there, or they can just go into, like, internet and just access all these things. They still have to go to, like, a SARS. They still have to go to uh, CIFA or CETA and all those things. Why are we not nationalizing this thing? Put it on one website so that they can apply easily. Then they can get one, it can be like a one-stop service center. Actually, part of the game changes uh, of the implementation on the master plan that I spoke about is looking at that in terms of establishing a one-shop center wherein we digitize the platform, we put all the services not only of our department and the agencies, but all the players in the ecosystem to say if they need a tech certificate, let's make sure that one can click on his phone at the button of whatever and get to SARS and therefore be able to fill in whatever information that one must fill. It also talks to not only people who are already doing business, but even those that want to join business in terms of their registration with the CIPC, but at the center of it is ensuring that there's compliance. 
we do promote that everyone must conduct legal trading in our country and therefore those that will not be getting permits it would mean therefore they're trading illegally in the country the home affairs department is coming on board for those to say how do we make sure that you do business in a fair way because you can't expect the small businesses to be treated and compete fairly if the rules are not the same so we're looking at that and that platform will have AI uh, capabilities in order to make sure that's interactive and responsive instantly as people will be engaging with it. Minister also talked to us about the issue of COVID-19. We know it has affected these small businesses and we know how, how struggling they've been with, uh, with COVID-19 because of the lockdown and all those kind of things. Just talk to us about how you guys are going to help them and have they received all of them the COVID relief that they were asking for? Well, the unfortunate thing that always happens when we talk about funding that you avail for SMMEs, as I mentioned earlier, the concerns in terms of the stringent processes that we put, you will recall that even in the 500 million that was committed to by government was not spent all of it because some or majority of the SMMEs were not compliant on that, which is another angle that we said as the department we need to focus on, the business development of small businesses to make sure that we make them understand um, the compliance processes so that that they can be able and when we make them understand it means we must help them to be compliant as long as it makes business sense that people can engage in whatever activity that they're engaging on as a result the COVID relief that I spoke about was not really uh, did not really receive much support most of the SMMEs have died we are trying to revive them we have introduced a scheme that's called the business viability program in the department to meet them halfway to say let's make sure that we provide a particular percentage of a grant which talks to 30 percent but again we've seen when people are applying they submit incomplete information which unfortunately leads to delays in the awarding of those that have qualified and also making us not to spend as I'm speaking to you Dumelo the department only has about 2.5 billion rents that is an allocation from government we are saying that's not enough but if the, the, the SMM is that are supposed to take that money and not taking it it tells you that we have a crisis we can't go back to National Treasury and say, please give us more because there's a demand, as we have seen out there, there's a demand for SMEs to be supported. But we are here to say, we're going to work with the SMEs, we're strengthening the functions by CEDA to provide business development, whilst we are relaxing also uh, the, the, the criteria that we set. Of course, at times we tend to behave like we are a developed country. And these are the things that we are saying, let's be realistic and practical. If we were to make interventions, they've got to talk to the grassroots challenges and opportunities that are there. Minister, thank you so much for speaking to us. That was Minister Stella Davini Abrams just speaking to us about why they are here also to ensure that you know they help these small SMEs in this country. But also, Desiree, I can tell you that you know there were a lot of people that actually showed up here. They end up being the minister saying that they have to do another uh, event at another venue so that they can allow all of them to be able to listen to listen to their issues. So some of those people have been sent to a different venue so that they can go there. Minister can also go there and see them a little bit later and speak to them about the issues that they might have. Desiree? Dumelo, thank you so much uh, for uh, that update there covering the story for us in Bombela.